Hello, my lovely YouTubers. So in this video, I'm really, really excited because I got a package from one of my fellow YouTubers, Mouse Lily. If you don't follow her, I will link to her channel down below in the description section of this video. But she hosted a giveaway for seed pods, particularly, um, or specifically, <laughs> English, specifically Dendrobium kingianum seed pods. So I'm really, really excited to try these out. And I don't know how long they sat in the actual post office because the post office doesn't give you notifications whenever your P.O. box is full, which I thought they would. Kind of like, you know, when you have your mailbox, you have the flag up. I don't know, I guess I was kind of expecting something like that for a P.O. box because there's no way for you to just like walk and check it. But apparently you have to sign up for something that notifies you. Anyways, so I hope that the seeds that are in here are okay. I hope they're okay. I don't, I don't know. We'll take a look-see. But just before I open this package, or you know, I can open it while I talk. So... If you guys are going to be in the central New Jersey area on May 2nd, they are actually holding a annual auction. <laughs> They're holding an annual auction in Princeton, New Jersey, I think in that general area. I will also link to that down below and you guys can find more information about it. So if you're going to be in the central New Jersey area on May 2nd, they are having their annual auction. So go there and check it out. Chris from Growing Things is going to be there, so that's reason enough to go. And when you go to auctions, you can get really nice quality plants. It's not like when you go to a raffle and there's just sort of everything thrown in there, like whatever people don't want, I guess. Uh, whenever you go to auctions, they're quality, specimen-sized, usually uh, plants that people just can't keep in their collection anymore and they'd like to sell it rather than give it away. So you can get some really, really nice plants. In fact, the Cattleya that I have, my monster Cattleya, that was one that I got at an auction and I paid $25 or $50 for it. And that thing is huge, so that was a really good deal. So you can still get good deals at auctions. Um, you just gotta gotta know what to bid on. But anyway, so auction. And also, this weekend, if you guys are in the Savannah, Georgia area, there will be the Deep South Orchid Society show, which I will be going to. And it's like an hour away from where I live. Um, Savannah's pretty close to Charleston. I think it's like an hour and a half away, maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to be going to it, and I'm going to do an out and about video for you guys. So excited. I know that you guys miss the out and about videos. It's hard because there's not a whole lot of greenhouses or gardening centers in my area. It's just a very weird thing. Why is this hair? It's just weird because being in Charleston, I figured there would be plenty of gardening centers and it seems like there's not a whole lot. So anyways, let's get into the un packaging. <laughs> oh, and there's a little card. Oh my goodness. What is in here? I hope they're okay. Like I said, I don't know how long they were in the really packaged well. So. Oh, and I see it. It is in here. And I told Mousily to put it in a coffee filter, and that way the pod is still able to breathe, and you don't have to worry about the seeds flying out of here. So here is the seed pod. You can see it in there. I'm not actually going to open it up because I'm not ready to actually flask these babies, but I did want to show you guys the actual pod. So I'm going to put these back in the box and I will probably flask these tomorrow. You want to make sure you are on the ball. <laughs> I was not on the ball with this, um, but I'm definitely going to have to flask these tomorrow because time is already running short for these little babies. So stay tuned for a flasking video or what not to do when flasking orchids because I've never done it before. So I have no idea if it's going to go terribly, terribly wrong and fire and death and I don't know. I 
don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but I've read as much as I can about the flasking process. I purchased a book on how to flask orchids. And I've read a lot of online articles. I've just been researching and researching because I want to do it right. But I know that I'm going to make mistakes. So feel free to comment if you guys have any experience with flasking orchids. Comment with... Um, whatever your experiences were with flasking orchids. Okay guys, this is seriously the cutest envelope I've ever seen. It has this floral material on the inside and it's like slippery. I don't know, that just amazes me. <laughs> I've never seen like slippery. Look at that, isn't that cool? That is just the cutest thing ever and she sent a thank you card. I should be thanking you, Mouse Lily. Thank you so, so much for sending me the seed pot. It means a lot to me um, because now I get to practice before the big game, so to speak. Um, she sent this awesome thank you card. What does it say? It says, Brittany, thank you for watching my channel. I am really looking forward to what you do with this pod. Best of luck. I'm going to need it. Uh, Pam from Mouse Lily, her channel. So, oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I will keep you guys updated on my, on my adventures. Time for some applesauce. These things are like the coolest invention ever. They're applesauce packets on the go. And I know they're like for little kids, but I am such a little kid when it comes to, like, squeezable thingies. I don't know. Like, squeezable, like, food. I don't know. Like, whenever... Did you guys ever have those, um, the little fun dips? Did you ever eat that candy where one side was the powdered, I think it was just sugar, but it, like, turned your tongue a different color, and it came with, like, that candy stick, so you'd, like, lick the stick, put it in the powder, and then... That was just the best thing in the world for me. I was so enamored with that candy. Same thing with the ring pop, like, things like that just... <laughs> so this is the Go Go Squeeze Organic. It's apple banana. And you may be thinking to yourself, you don't like banana things. I don't either. I hate banana flavored things. But this is actually freaking delicious. It tastes like a banana. It doesn't taste like banana flavoring. Um, runts come to mind. The little runts that are shaped like bananas, but they taste like a dirty toe. I don't know. They're so gross. I do not like the banana flavorings on certain candy. Ooh. But this is delicious. Next thing I want to talk about really quick is this Adenium Obesum. Andrea is one of my subscribers to my channel, and she was asking a lot of really, really good questions about Adenium Obesum. And I figured rather than creating a whole separate video or answering her questions individually, I would just go ahead and talk about it in this video. So this is one of my Adenium Obesum seedlings, and the majority of my collection, you can probably see my collection in my um, garden update video for April, but the majority of my collection are seedling adeniums that I grew from seed. I purchased the seeds off of eBay. Adenium KO is the seller, and I will put his information down below if you wanted to purchase some seeds from him. It does take a while because they come directly from Taiwan, I believe. And so they have to go through the customs, and they come with like a little phytosanitary certificate. So he is legally um, selling these seeds to you. Uh, but they're really, really great price, and I've had really great success germinating. Well, of course, I only bought one seed packet from him, but I had excellent success. All of them germinated, pretty much. I think there was only, like, two that... One of them was albino, so it didn't produce any chlorophyll, and if they don't produce any chlorophyll, they end up dying. And then the other one was, like, a runt. It just never grew in size. It developed true leaves, but then it just died. And it was always small. So these are the survivors here. They are two years old. They should be producing flowers this year. And just like seed-propagated orchids, your seed-propagated adeniums are all different. They all look different. The only way that you can get the same looking flower on an adenium is to graft it. So if you have a flower that's particularly beautiful, 
you can graft a branch from it onto another one and that's how you get the same looking flower. So I have no idea what these are going to look like. They have never bloomed for me. Care for these guys is ridiculously easy. I do a hard prune whenever they start to lose all of their leaves. And what I mean by hard prune is I'll just cut back the branches and that also helps to lose their leaves. And then I'll put them somewhere with not a lot of light, uh, cooler. I actually put them with my catacetums. So they go into my closet and they don't get watered except for maybe once or twice a month. And you don't have to do that. It's not necessary, but I do it because I'm lazy and I don't want to take care of them. And then in the spring, this is all spring growth for them. In the spring, they will put out their new growth and they will bloom. So they're summertime bloomers. Um, that's when I get the most blooms from mine. You can purchase these. I've seen these at Lowe's and Home Depot, but I'm sure it depends on your area. Uh, whether or not they carry adeniums. So check out your Lowe's and Home Depot. You might find an adenium obesum there. I think the ones that Lowe's has are either red or pink. This one is a seed pod from an almost black flowered adenium. So I'm expecting these to be somewhat similar. I'm hoping for at least one of them to look the way that I want. Like a dark, dark purple, maybe a black. I don't know. Uh, which black, you know, in, it's just really dark purple, but I'm hoping, please, I don't know what's going to happen though. I might get white and who knows. So I will keep you guys updated on these, but Andrea was asking if you can keep these inside and you can, you can. These are really great for indoor plants. They're super, super easy. Just keep them in a south facing window. Mine get direct sunlight for most of the day. I mean, you have to think that these are succulents. So if you treat them like a succulent, chances are you're going to have really great success with them. Uh, they are planted in what I made for them. It is called Al's Gritty Mix. And I'll put a link to that down in the description section of this video as well. It's just turfus, which you can purchase at any landscaping store. I purchased my turfus at John Deere Landscape Supply. And chicken grit, which can be purchased at a tractor supply store or any feed store. It's called chicken grit or crushed granite. And then fine fur bark, which you can purchase at Lowe's, Home Depot. You can also purchase it at any orchid supply store. And that's just for added moisture. And then I also add Osmocote to the mix. So if you can see the little yellow balls in there, um, that is Osmocote. That's all they get fed. They don't get fed anything else. And they do really, really well for me. You can also plant these in lava rock. I've seen a lot of growers plant theirs in lava rock. So it's all about what you want to plant it in, how much you want to water. So lava rock is great because you don't have to worry about root rot or anything like that. So I recommend, I'll probably be using um, lava rock on these guys. So that is what they are planted in. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. They're super, super easy and they're really, really cute. You can keep them small or you can actually plant them in a large pot. I mean, they get really, really big. So you don't have to bonsai them, but I keep them small because they can get really, really big. So I keep them in the smallest pot that they will fit into. Like this particular Adenium obesum will not be leaving this pot. It won't. I will raise it up out of the potting medium whenever I change the potting medium, but it won't be leaving this pot. I will not plant it in anything else. And the reason that I lift it up out is to expose more of the caudex because that's the pretty part. And also because the roots start to come out of the bottom. So you can see that there. And that's why I raise them up and yeah. So that's a Danny Mobisum. Alrighty guys, thank you so so much for tuning into my channel. I hope that you enjoyed my little unboxing and a little tip and trick to growing Adenium obesum. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the description section of this video. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter because that's where I post blooming pictures of my plants before I make a video about them. And as always, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one in the future, and I will see you guys later.